everyone knows the Oracle Red Bull Racing Formula One team. Sebastian Vettel, you are the world champion! With a legacy of 20 years, seven drivers' championships and six constructors' championships. Max Verstappen, you are the world champion! But there's another side to the story that not everyone knows. A team that travels alongside the F1 crew, pulling off unbelievable stunts around the globe at the most spectacular locations. Wow, it never fails to impress me. They're called the showrunners. They're a well-oiled machine. And I am the newest member of the team. I think I'm ready. The only slightly worrying thing is I've never done any kind of mechanics in my life. Is this going to be a good idea? Because in my head, shit show. Absolute shit show. Journey has begun. I'm in the airport. I have cried three times. Uh, I'm not a very good flyer, so it's starting swimmingly. But yeah, I'm off to Poland. The showrunners consist of 12 individuals. A show run might be a public demonstration, a stunt, or a filming project. The aim is threefold, bringing F1 closer to the public, nurturing new mechanics, and transitioning existing F1 team mechanics to new roles. You need to be willing to learn, and F1 is like the goal, even though, you know, it's not a current car, but we're out doing some really cool stuff. Veterans in the team also take on mentoring roles, guiding the newer members. I'm basically like the school teacher at Red Bull Racing. Take that off of there, and then pour that into the water heater. Here in Poland, the team faces a novel challenge, a task utterly foreign to an F1 car. So I'm in Poland. I can't remember how to pronounce the name. What do we call it? What it? Wrocław. Wrocław. That's where I am. We're filming because we've got something really exciting on Thursday. Red Bull have decided to take the RB8 around a speedway circuit. I still don't know what speedway is, but we're gonna go there on Thursday. But first we've got three pretty crazy days of setting up the car. I'm gonna be there, probably gonna be a pain, but I'm gonna try and help with something and it's gonna be great. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I'm guessing this is my kit. <gasps> yes. Do I look like I'm part of Rebel? I feel like I'm part of Rebel. I think I'm ready. Hello. It's 4.35 in the morning. I'm not ready for this. Okay, we've got a big day ahead of us. Filming day all day starts at five. So we've got to heat the car up, which I'm told takes quite a long time. Hence, we're starting at five. And then five different locations all across the city. And we're going to watch this car go places it shouldn't really go. I'm ready. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? All right, thank you. So what are we doing today? Talk me through it. So what we're going to do now is we've had the car on heat overnight. We obviously have to have the car at a certain temperature before we can fire it up height. So if we did it from cold, it would probably cause a lot of damage. So what we do is we plug a water heater onto the car and that just circulates hot water around the All engine. night? All night long. The idea of that is that we, from here, we transfer to our first filming location. It's a busy day, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be, it's got to run nice and smoothly. But if it runs smoothly, it'll, it'll, look, it'll be good. It'll be easy. We're a well-oiled machine. Yes. You've said it now. And you've got me. Exactly that. What could Ow. possibly go wrong? Well, we've got a lot of new people, haven't we? What is your name? Dave. Dave. Justin. Dave. Dave. Don't scratch the roll hoop. It's my pet hay. So I'll be given my first job. It's quite a big job. I have to start the car. All uh, right, so if you can imagine, this is the ignition key. Yeah. Right, and you're turning that. And then this will turn this shaft here. Which turns that, which turns the gearbox, which turns the engine. Could you not have just put an ignition button in it? Can't do that because of, of weight. This is quite a big first job. Nah, it's easy. It is. It does look impressive, but it's, it's not. So Don't break it, though. Stop. <laughs> 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 Right, light that and then just go. <laughs> I need to like hype myself up for this. Then when you feel ready, you look at Mark. Mark's gonna give you the thumbs up and then you press the button and you hold. Okay. Okay. You, ready? Right. <laughs> Crank away. Go. 
Okay guys, pack up and get out of here. Can we just um, push that out of the way so the driver can go? So you're just going to drive with it completely open to the element? Yep, absolutely. If it starts raining, maybe we'll have to sit you in the car with an umbrella or something like that. Yeah, a massive umbrella. Yeah, I can do that. Wrocław, Poland is a lively and historic city known for its charming old town, breathtaking Gothic and Baroque buildings and the gorgeous Market Square. And we are about to run an F1 car through this beautiful city. <laughs> Big day for two people, yes. So we've got Adam, our new mechanic, and our Izzy. Big responsibilities for both, though. We're going to unload the car now for our first static shot. What do you want me to do? Well, you can be chief coordinator. Yeah, sure, yeah. I'll do some pointing and stuff. At the moment, we just unload the car. You can help do that. So if you could look after this lot here for me. Yeah, yeah, I'll just While I do the start organising this van. Yeah. Make sure the wheels don't rub. Light, isn't it? It's going to be heavier than that. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Yeah, lefty. Police are here. I think the idea is they have to put a fine on the car. What's going on then, officers? Nothing. Nothing at all. What happened with the motor thing? I heard something go. I heard Crunch get a bit cross. Did you? Crunch never gets cross. You're joking me. Fuck in hell. Basically, the starter motor just started spinning on its own. Got a spare one, fortunately. Mm. Can somebody run and go get the other one? It's in the trunk, Daddy. What do you mean it's in the truck? It was on the list. We just uh, accidentally forgot a vital piece of equipment. We didn't forget anything. We purposefully left it on the truck. We purposefully left the spare part. Oh, knowing it wasn't that really far need. away. I'm just worried because I feel like I was the last person to touch that. You did, actually, didn't you? Yeah. Right, what did I say? Don't break it, though. Stop. <laughs> Yeah. Don't go spreading that rumour, OK? <laughs> well, don't you go sharing the fact that we've left things behind. All right, fine, deal. Done. You're on. See, Formula One isn't as perfect as uh, most people think. <laughs> Are you nervous? Am I? Yeah. No. First day, first shoot of your first week. Is this what you thought it was going to be? No, no, I never thought <laughs> this is what it's going to be, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And have you always wanted to be a mechanic? Yeah, yeah, that's the dream. Yeah, definitely an F1, yeah. Definitely. You say, yeah this yeah. is a pretty cool place to start. Yeah. Really yeah. cool. So we've got David Coulthard getting in the car now. He's going to take the car for a spin. It's also very early in the morning to be starting an F1 car. It's going to be a bit of a wake up call, I think. Okay, all cameras roll. Engine on. <laughs> Three hours in, and I've got to do some pretty cool things. She's doing great. She's fitting in a treat, making her uh, get her hands dirty. So I've started the car. I've been moving the car. I've had to spin the car after each shot, which has been insane. I think we need to get her doing a bit more, though, to be honest with you. I think she's, she's probably being a bit slack. I haven't seen her polishing the car enough. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah. I've noticed this rag is still in your back Yeah, I pocket. haven't got it out, man. No, it hasn't, has it? I, I have spotted that. Look, you haven't even taken the thing off it. Yeah, because it was... Yeah. There we go. So now it can be used. Look at that. Yeah. No, it's brand spanking new. I used it once. Honestly, he, it he hasn't been pushing you enough, has he? Maybe just polish the dust off it. OK, I'll do that now. Good job. OK, I'm going to do the other side. Izzy, thank you very much. You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> go crack the whip. <laughs> We are moving on next location 50 minutes away. This is nuts. This is why you need to watch it. I didn't know you could do donuts on a motorbike, but this guy's doing a pretty good job. Are these tyres going to last? Uh, it will depend on how many donuts. 
And obviously, the more he's going to do it, yeah. the more cuts we're going to get. And then you have to change them out. I can do that. Oh, yes. on. Izzy's now going to change the wheels for us. <laughs> sorry. I Gen don't like that. Gently, gently, sorry. Okay. Just have a feel of that with it. And if you don't feel like it, then... <laughs> I'm scared. Just, just, just press it gently. <laughs> Why does it do that? Why don't I be the wheel person? That's what you do in the pit, in the pit thing. Got it. Yeah? Yeah. Not there! Ah! Only kidding. <laughs> Location number three. And I think we're gonna take the car over a bridge and back. That's the plan. <laughs> that is so fast. So we're at the next location, and I think this is actually my favourite one of the day. They actually filmed The Hunger Games here, which is pretty cool. We're done here. We're moving on. That looks so cool. OK, we'll start right here. Beautiful. OK, stand by. I'm going to review some footage. It might not look like hard work that I'm doing. I am quite tired now. It's a really long day and lots of different takes. So starting the car, bring the car back, be in the car, and off we go. Again, again, again. So it is quite tiring. It's really overwhelming as well. It's 9 p.m. I'm finally back in my room after the longest day ever. I finished at about five. The mechanics didn't get back here until nine o'clock. I, I honestly don't know how they do it. So yeah, loads more to come. But for now, I'm going to get my head on that pillow and go to sleep. This is the big day. Thank God you brought my helmet. Anything you need, I'm your gal. I've driven these two cars quite often, but the only thing really relevant to me is where am I driving it? It's definitely the first time I've seen an F1 car on a speedway track. It's certainly not your average race track, that's for sure. It's a wee bit slippy. <laughs> As you can see, it's, uh, well, it's raining pretty badly. When it's wet, that's always a bit disappointing and more high risk. <laughs> 